every day the people in Harriman, Tennessee, relive the nightmare when disaster struck and covered the landscape with a toxic mess. They worry about their long-term health and for good cause, says Lisa Wadowski, an attorney with the Private Environmental Integrity Project and co-author of a new study on the disposal of coal ash. We're talking about the second largest industrial waste stream in the country. So anywhere where there's coal being burned, uh, there is coal ash, as, which is a big problem. Coal ash is the waste byproduct in the generation of electricity from the nation's 600 coal-fired power plants. About 40 percent of the waste is recycled. The rest is put into landfills, abandoned mines, or wet impoundments, like the one that failed in Tennessee. In Harm's Way documents 39 coal ash dump sites in 21 states where water has been contaminated with arsenic and other heavy metals. Researchers link those toxins to cancer, organ failure, and other serious health problems. But no federal rules now control its disposal. There are no federal regulations on coal ash. 20 states have no coal ash regulations at all. Uh, and that's just of the states that we've looked into so far. Um, among the ones that do have regulations, they're really a patchwork. And I appreciate this opportunity to present testimony. The Environmental Protection Agency is holding public hearings to consider federal regulation. Thomas Adams, executive director of the American Coal Ash Association, opposes the option that would label coal ash a hazardous waste. In an effort to create disposal regulations, the EPA has created a serious potential threat to one of the most successful recycling stories of this generation. Coal industry lobbyist Jim Rower argues that coal ash has been safely mixed into dozens of products, including concrete, wallboard, and road paving. He says a hazardous label on this $9 billion industry would be bad for business, put people out of work, and be costly to implement. Imagine if you had the op option to buy a product that contains fly ash in it or something that doesn't contain fly ash in it, you'd likely not can buy the material containing fly ash. Lisa Wadowski with the Environmental Integrity Project doesn't buy that argument. She says safely recycled coal ash would not be regulated by the new rule. She advocates the hazardous label and says fighting for federally enforceable safeguards, disposal permits, water monitoring, pond liners and transport controls will protect people and the environment. Everyone will benefit from stronger regulation here. If you, we have safe communities, we'll have healthy workers and an abundant workforce. Public hearings continue through November. EPA will consider the public testimony and is expected to make a final ruling within a year. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.